a very happy new year to you! Today we are going to make this one! Let me show you what it is! It is a whiteboard! I can totally customize the eyes and this is my space for me to write! So I'm just going to draw a happy face because I'm so happy! And the amazing thing about this is, okay, let me show you, I can definitely erase this. The amazing thing is, if I have, just imagine, a picture, I can just slot it in and turn it into a picture frame! How cool is this? Ah, so let's try making a whiteboard! To start off, I already have this box over here, so I need to cut them out with this width. This is the size that I want, so let's cut it first. Whoop. Okay. So I don't need this for now. I don't need this. Ugh. So I have this and this. So I need to cut the flaps first. I think I got a paper cut. Or should I say a cupboard cut? <laughs> okay, lame. Okay, so let's cut this one. Okay, nice. So now I have two of these cardboards over here. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we are going to draw the design. I want to make it cute and you know cat related as if you follow me on Instagram, link is below. I love drawing cats so I want this whiteboard to be cat related. Maybe I just want to have like the ears. Here, make use of all the space so I don't have to cut so much. Then maybe just make it like a round shape. Nice. Then maybe I want the eyes to be here. And then the nose. It looks like an owl now. <laughs> and then maybe I'll lengthen this one and then the whiskers. And then this whole section will be my whiteboard section. So on this small piece that I have, I want to draw the hands holding the whiteboard. That would be cute. So maybe something like the paws, like that. Cute. I like it. So the paws will be like this and like this. I think this one is a little bit too big at the top. Like that. 
so I am I'm still thinking if I should put like make the eyes as whiteboard as well so I can just um, change the eyeballs anytime I want but first, I'm going to cut this one out. Maybe along the way, I might be cutting this too. I don't know. But this will be the whiteboard area. I do want to like have like a 3D dimension. So there will be another board behind, which is this one over here. This will be my whiteboard and then I can change it whenever I like. Or I can put different boards. I'm just thinking how I want to do this. <laughs> so thanks for watching on this journey, you know. <laughs> oh yes, and also the cat ears. And yeah, so let's go ahead and cut this part. And the two paws. So now that it's all cut, now I have to cut the one, the middle section and I think I'll try to cut the eyes. <laughs> but let me cut the middle section first. So for the middle section, I think I want to go section by section. So I will cut here and... And I'll just do a cross. <laughs> it doesn't even go against my ruler. But it's okay. It's just a guide. And then I want this to follow this shape here. So I'll just do it freehand. Like this. So I'm like cutting pizzas, you know. Pizza slices. So I'll just go section by section so that I just I don't destroy them. <gasps> I got one pizza slice out. Okay now. I have to do this one, so make sure that this is all the way here. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is just for me. And my brain, it needs some creativity. So it's important that once in a while, you just take time for yourself and just do something creative. Okay. Uh, can you see the face? If this is the mouth, we'll be like, oh. <laughs> Okay, the last one is going to be a little bit flimsy. So, I think I'll go by this way. Use the pizza section to be the place where I cut. Yay! I'm so excited. It looks good. Okay, let's put a pause. Ah, this is gonna look cute. 
Look at that. Okay, so now for the this part over here, I I don't know if I want to make it into an insert or not. Oh yeah, I need to cut the eyes. Okay, so I need to draw another layer. So let's just erase this one first. Because otherwise it will be too thin. Okay, so this section will be the one. So I'll do the pizza cut again. Okay, so now I need to cut the same shape so that I can just paste it and then this will be my whiteboard area. Got it? So let's do the cutting. Oh, but first I think I should secure it before... So I'm just going to use some tape somewhere in the middle. So that it doesn't go away so I let's see which side is nicer yeah okay this side is good so I'll just make sure that this one is flat secure it I don't wanna cut it and then everything just falls out of place I think it's secure enough so let's cut okay so I want to paint this I'm gonna remove all the tape and then we are going to paint this cat okay looks good yay Okay, so I'm going to grab yellow, white, put this one back, I don't need you, um, I want to use this color, but I don't wear, but let's just grab this street, just go ahead, right here, so white will be this background here, so that I can write my stuff, right? And then yellow will be the face. Oh, pink for the nose and the ears. Oh, I cut out the ears, by the way. Like to create depth, you know, like so cool. So yeah, I'm going to use these three colors. And get the paws. I don't know if I'm going to outline them. If I'm going to outline them, then I have to do for everything. I don't know. But let's paint them first. Woohoo! Okay, so this portion will be white. I'm going to just smear the whole thing with white. Um, pink over here. And white over here. And white for this whole thing. So I'm just going to plop the whole chunk. Put some water. And BAM! Oh! Satisfaction. Okay, now that this white part is done, I'm gonna be look at how look at that. Look at the shimmer of this paint. 
Oh, so pretty. Okay. So we need to let this dry and then I'm going to put another layer. And I'm moving on to the other part. Okay, so I know that um, yellow is usually transparent. So I'm going to just slop the whole thing with white first and then put a bit of then I will layer the yellow on top Always keep your workstation clean. Okay, that's not gonna happen. I need to bring it to the sink to wash this. <laughs> okay, so now this is dry. I am going to outline everything. For example, this one over here. If it is a hassle, I am just gonna take the black paint to outline it yeah I'm taking the black paint <gasps> uh, okay never mind this one came out so I can just outline this over here it's not gonna be great but at least it's something you know so now that this is dry, I to how to make it like dry erase, all I need to do is to use the packing tip. If I could find there it is. So I just need to layer it. Like so. Just cut off the edge later on. So I just have to flatten it, make sure that all the lines are flat. So when you draw later on, there won't be any weird lines. Okay, and then the eyes. and feel yes it does oh no I didn't paint all the way <laughs> ay 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 so I have to repaint this part <sighs> this is so funny I thought I covered everything I should have did that before I put the tape on okay this is okay but yeah I gotta cover this part guys, <laughs> be right back. So I decided to just remove the tape at that part. <laughs> this is so funny. And then I try to secure this. Okay, that is not great. I might have to remove everything. <laughs> okay, not everything, still okay. And then this one I just cut off the ugly part okay 
Great, <laughs> I just need to paint this part. <laughs> okay, so I finally covered the whole surface. And I'm just taking my pool that I have over here to flatten all whatever lines that I have. Okay, so any excess, right, I decided to just fold it in. Again, any excess, I just fold it in. So the back looks like this. Let's do a test. I have a whiteboard marker here. Hi. Then I can just use a tissue to wipe it away. Yay! It works. Okay, so I've decided to remove the ones at the top and put below instead so that if I want to slot in the uh, piece of paper or whatnot, I can. I can just, just you know, slot it in from the top instead. So I'm just going to let this to dry. I'm not sure how long it will take but um, maybe I'll, also, I'll let this one dry first and I'll flip it over and then put the rest of the glue and then start pasting and also I need to paste my pores pores not pores pores is a different thing it is so cute right it is you know it is ah! Okay guys, everything is dry, let's just try the ones with the tip, the original one, this is so cute guys. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna draw the eyes, and then I'm gonna write awesome possible. Yeah. It works! Okay, so let's erase this. It's so cool. And then if I don't like the eyes to be like this, I can erase and I can just place it elsewhere. <gasps> ah, it works. It works. Whee! Erase, 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 erase the eyes too. Okay, so I cut this one, right? The lamination. So I can always just put it in here whenever I want to. So what I could also do is, okay, let me draw the eyes. I want happy eyes, like this. <laughs> You know what it looks like it's wearing glasses. So anyway, I can just put it over here. I can just draw anything I like to and but the erasing isn't that great. So what I can do is I can just take this one out. I can use this part as a whiteboard, but if any time I like to put like a how say um if I want to put a color paper I can and then it can be like an awesome picture frame as well how cool is that so all I need to do is if I want to put it on my fridge or anywhere where it's magnetic I just need to put like uh, magnets behind but I think for now it will be cool if I can just bring this anywhere and everywhere right Okay, not really, but so cool! You can totally do it. It's so easy. You can do whatever design you like and yeah, so I'm gonna just, you know, put some eyes here and I'm gonna say like and subscribe thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoy 
I enjoyed the whole process. This is really happiness to me. So see you in the next video. Bye.